templates you can author in Microsoft Word. So it's pretty straightforward to give this the look and feel that you want. This is all the data from my survey, but presented in a very specific way. Shut your mouth. <laughs> yes, the question is, can I bring attachments? In this particular case, I'm not showing a map, but you can actually add maps, signatures, photos, and not only that, you can decide specifically where in your report the signature belongs versus this photo or that annotated, you know, diagram. <coughs> so this is the basic concept. This what we are going to see next Should is how can we automate this, this uh, with uh, workbook. Okay, thank you, Ismail. So we're back here again in Integramat, and in this case, I'm actually going to use one of the readily available templates that we have uh, with the survey and So I'll go ahead and select templates here. Now as this loads, I see that at the moment, I'm not seeing anything related to Survey123, but lots of different options to choose from. But I can go to Filter here, and I'll go ahead and select Survey123. And now when I select that, I'm given lots of different options that we've already put together uh, that are available to work with the Survey123 connector. In my case, we just since we just explored the, the feature report capability, I'm going to go ahead and select uh, this scenario here, create a feature report, and upload it to OneDrive for Business when a survey is submitted. So after selecting that, we can see that it's already a pre-configured scenario, and it's taking me through a step-by-step -step process of, again, connecting to my survey one to three organization, uh, the the submission of my survey, generating a feature report, and then uploading the photo and the report to OneDrive. So I'll select to create new scenario from template. It's already giving me options of my RGS online organizations that I've uh, connected to in the past. So I'll select here, survey one, two, three, team, and continue. And I'm prompted as I go through for different inputs uh, for these specific connections. So in this case, I'll actually go ahead and need to select the exact user in the organization. I'll select Ninja Green here. And as mentioned, we can have the trigger of the webhook fired when data is added, so survey is submitted, or if it's edited. In our case, we still want to do it when a survey is submitted. So I'll go ahead and select here, in this case, a manhole inspection survey. Hit save, and as it gathers this information, we can see that it'll let me move on to the next step and continue here. And now we've gathered all the information from uh, the survey that I've attached to, and now we have a different module in this case, which is the create feature report. So this is actually separate from what we've been doing in the past, which is watching for a survey when it's submitted. In this case, we now know that a survey is going to be submitted. We pulled the information from that survey and we have the ability to create a feature report with that information that's come through from the survey. So let me add the appropriate connection, which is my Ninja Green account. And as it loads the surveys within the account, again, we're working with the manhole inspection. So I'll load that. And now, since I have a template associated with this manhole inspection survey, I can select it from the drop down. So I'll go ahead and select my manhole inspection template. And we can see that it auto-populated this feature object ID. This is actually um, the variable from the payload that you need to include when working with the feature report template. And so if I were to click here, I can see that I'm given the option, again, to select all the uh, variables that come with my survey. In this case, I'm using again the object ID. And it's auto-populated for me. So I'll go ahead and now, there's a related table in this data set, but I know it's the um, just watching for manual inspection, the parent feature layer. I'll go ahead and select continue. And I'm taken to now the HTTP module, which Calvin had showed previously. And this is now gathering the URL which includes with it the feature report, and in that feature report, there will be an image too. Uh, and here, auto-populated again because of my template, so I can just simply select continue, and I'm moving along to now OneDrive, which I've already logged into in Office 365. That connection is shown there, and I can 
will select a folder within my OneDrive account. I have an attachments folder here, so I'll select that. Hit continue. And now every one of my modules has been configured. So we can select to run this once, and then we'll submit our manhole inspection survey, which I have here. This has been pre-filled out, but it's related again to an inspection of a manhole. We have different dimensions, a photo that's included, and defects associated uh, with the inspection. So let me go ahead and submit this. And we can go back here to IntegraMap, and we'll see it's recognized that a survey has been submitted. Now it calls out to the feature report service through this module. So it's generating the feature report back in ArcGIS Online. And as this completes, of course, it needs to gather the attachment, meaning the feature report, in this case, the Word document. So it'll pull the Word document. Within that Word document is an image from the incident report. And now we're actually uploading that to OneDrive. So if I go now into OneDrive, I can see that it's added this Word document, which is a feature report, to my attachments folder. And if I open this up, I can see that a report has now been generated from that template, which was pre-configured for my survey and survey. Do you like that? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no problem.